Good evening, you guys. I am so glad that you have decided to join us tonight. You're going to hear all about the magic in the Manon. That sounds so woo, doesn't it? It's We're going to be sharing with you about Ace Manon tonight. My name is Cindy Harden. I'm your MC for the evening. And the way that this is going to work is I'm going to be sharing some slides with you from my screen. You're going to hear from several really amazing women that have, have poured time and effort into sharing this knowledge with you. I'm excited about it. I highly recommend grabbing a notebook, something to write with, because you're about to get all the knowledge, right? The first person that we have speaking tonight is Nicole. She's going to be sharing with us the Romanian miracle, and I'm very excited to hear about this. You guys, it's it's such an empowering thing to hear. A few fun facts about Nicole is I hear she likes queso and guacamole, which those are basically food groups for me. So what can go wrong, right? Uh, also, just endearing to my heart is that Nicole has a heart for malnourished youth. Uh, she just has a passion for it and a desire to share information and help overcome that obstacle. It comes from her uh, past with the foster system as a youth. So I'm really excited to hear Nicole's perspective as we move forward. I'm going to share my screen with you guys now so that we can hear a little bit about that Romanian miracle. All right, here's Nicole. At the heart of everything that Alavea does is love. It's even smack dab in the middle of our name. A, love, A, Alavea. Now, love is given hands and feet with Alavea's mission of nourishing immunocompromised kids around the world with Ace Madden. Each year, 7 million children die from malnourishment, and Alavea's founder, Sam Castor, is determined to change this. Now, I have the honor of introducing the casters and the work that they're doing. In 1997, Sam and his wife, Linda, provided nature's most powerful immune-optimizing molecule, ACE Manon, to an orphanage in Romania. The children suffered from infectious conditions that resulted in 30 to 40 deaths per year. However, over the next year, the quality of life for these children was so dramatically improved and for the first time in over a decade not one child died the passion and determination to save children was birthed from this place and alavea was founded with a mission to help reach medically fragile children's needs around the world with our buy one nourish one social business model every serving of an alavea product that a customer purchases a serving of life-saving Ace Manon is donated to a kiddo in need. Together as customers, affiliates, social business partners, we are working toward the goal of saving the lives of 7 million children. And we invite you to join us in one of the most beautiful stories that is just beginning to unfold. All right. Thank you, Nicole. How amazing was that, right? That's very exciting. The Romanian miracle, you guys. So cool. All right. Next, we are going to be learning about the history of Ace Man. And you guys, I'm super excited to hear about the history. You've got to always know where it begins, right? To know where you've come. Uh, Allison's going to be sharing that with us tonight. A little bit about Allison is she just has an amazing mind for knowledge. It's just she absorbs it and then she's able to share it with you in such a great way. She also has a heart for Jesus. And I think when you put those two things together, what can go wrong? She's just a very powerful person when, when she shares that information with people. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. And we're going to hear from Allison. Bear with me here. All right. Allison's up. Okay, I'm the history buff of the group, so I get to take you guys all the way back to some of the earliest mentions of aloe in recorded history. We're going all the way back to 1550 BC, so I feel like it's only fair to give you guys a timeline. All right, here we go. You see that? 1550 BC, right there. Yes, that is ancient Egypt. Y'all may have heard of the Ebers Papyrus. It's a 110-page scroll, and it's one of the earliest documentations of healing properties of different plants. Um, Again, that the ancient Egyptians used for healing purposes, beauty, supplementation, all of that stuff. Aloe was mentioned as the plant of immortality, and it was a cornerstone of ancient medicine in many cultures throughout the world. What was it that gave the aloe plant this well-deserved and amazing reputation? We now know that it's the ace man and molecule. 
That's what's in the fresh gel of the aloe vera plant that causes the immune response truly unlike anything else in nature. It's completely non-toxic and it is continued to be known as a healing plant around the world. However, throughout history, most aloe use was from fresh plants. People grew it on their farms or had a pot of it outside their door. They didn't have bottles on store shelves like we do. We're used to the aloe products because in the 1960s, the health and personal care industry decided to commercialize and market the historically healing reputation of aloe vera. They started making aloe hair and skincare products, as well as creams and lotions. They all promoted that the miracle of aloe was now in their products. The problem was that while there might have been some benefits, the full extent of the power of aloe didn't show up in any of them because they were lacking ace manin. Even researchers came to the same conclusion. This is how. A group of investors in the early 1980s went to Southwestern Medical School with the goal of discovering and stabilizing the molecule that was in fresh aloe vera gel that for some reason didn't show up in any of the products that were available at the time. They realized that if they could discover and stabilize this molecule, they could patent and commercialize this amazing technology. So that's what they did. After extensive research, it was determined that the immune modulating activity from fresh aloe vera gel came from a long chain carbohydrate or polysaccharide. I'll remind you all about polysaccharides in just a second. It was discovered in 1985 and it was named Acemanin, an abbreviated version of its chemical structure. It is a dispersed beta 1,4 acylated manin. So what are polysaccharides? These are bioactive molecules in animals and plants that are often extracted and used for medicinal and healthcare purposes because of their antiviral, antimicrobial, antitumoral, and antioxidant properties. In the 1990s, Carrington Labs carried out a great deal of research on Ace Manin with the goal of marketing an FDA-approved medicine. They ran into two issues as they worked toward drug classification. One, most drugs Actually, all drugs have a measurable level of toxicity. Ace Manin had none. Two, drugs typically alter our physiology in some way. Ace Manin didn't alter mental or physical state. It only supported the body's optimal functioning. There are over 700 peer-reviewed papers published on Ace Manin, making it one of the most studied molecules in nature. The book Science Behind Aloe is probably the best meta-analysis over 100 peer-reviewed published studies on ACE Manin regarding the mechanisms of action, integrative health support mechanisms, and safety and efficacy of aloe. Okay, so let's look also at some of the findings of the research. Okay, look on your screen there. We have ACE Manin findings. Okay, the first thing, ACE Manin enhances macrophage activity as much as tenfold. Macrophages are a type of white blood cells that surround and kill microorganisms, remove dead cells, and stimulate the action of other immune system cells. Ace Man enhances stem cell production by three to 400%. This is huge for healing and recovery in our bodies. It speeds up wound healing by as much as 35%. It supports antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial defenses. It aids in the absorption of nutrients and water in the GI tract. It supports proper vascular function as well as cognitive function, and it enhances recovery from exercise and performance. So as you can see, this research tr yielded tremendous information in our journey to discover all the potential that Ace Manin has to offer. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Allison. Whew, you guys, are you getting excited? Are you taking good notes is the question. Come on now. You got to take good notes. How are you going to remember all this awesome stuff? Thank you, Allison, for the history on Ace Man. And now we're going to talk about the discovery with Robin. Okay, you guys, the discovery. Could you imagine being the person that discovers Ace Man? And, and then you realize all these things. I'm not going to say anymore because I'm going to let Robin share it. Fun facts about Robin. She's been married for 32 and a half years to her high school sweetheart. Come on, everybody round of applause for Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I mean, everybody loves a love story like that, right? So let's get back to it. Robin's gonna share with us about the discovery here. We go with Robin. I have the opportunity to discuss the discovery of this beautiful, beautiful molecule called ace manin that I have come to love. And so I'm gonna jump right in. Researchers recognized ace mannan was a very unique polysaccharide or long-chain sugar in nature, with mannose as the predominant sugar. 
There are about 200 sugars in nature, but mannose is by far the most important in human physiology. Why, you ask? Because mannose is absolutely essential for the proper structure and function of every cell in the human body. I want you to let that sink in. Not a few cells, not a lot of cells, every single cell in the human body. Well, once researchers discovered the ACE mana molecule and found a way to stabilize it for the first time, the investors, who want to earn some money, created a publicly traded company called Carrington Labs Incorporated to commercialize or sell the stabilized ACE mana. 130 patents were issued worldwide on the stabilization processes and uses, and over $100 million was spent on research and development. It became the only stabilized ACE MANA technology on the market. Now, our founder, Sam Castor, has made a very bold statement. He has said ACE MANA is the greatest discovery since penicillin, and I think you'll see why. ACE MANA has become the most researched molecule in nature. More than $200 million has now been invested into research and studies, which has validated stabilized ACE MANA safety, its unique mechanisms of immune optimization, and its most efficacious extracting techniques. In the 1980s, Carrington Labs hired Dr. Santiago Rodriguez, an organic chemist who developed the unique processing technologies for commercializing or selling the world's first ACE MANA products. They looked at various markets within healthcare to determine where ACE man and best fit. I recently had the opportunity to hear Dr. Rick Rodriguez speak in person, and he has such a heart for our mission of nourishing children that he has exclusively donated all present and future ACE man and technologies discoveries that he makes to our hope movement. That equates to millions upon millions of dollars, but that is the heart of Dr. Rodriguez and how much he is in alignment with what we're doing here at Alavea. One more time, the greatest discovery since penicillin. So what did these products developed by Dr. Rodriguez provide? When we think of aloe vera, I think most of us think of wound care, burns, skin, and that was what they first provided. The first thing commercialized was topical wound care under the name Kerosene Wound Gel. This advanced topical wound care was approved for use for the treatment of severe burns, non-healing diabetic ulcers, and open wounds because ACE Manin accelerated the healing process. The next market was veterinary medicine, a product called ACE Manin Immunostimulant, a powerful immune modulating molecule was created. It was used, get this, for the treatment of various types of cancers, and tumors in animals. So what about ACE MANIN for human consumption? The next technology they developed was for humans. The first advanced integrated healthcare technology called Manipole, an ACE MANIN dietary supplement for human use, was developed in 1993 by Dr. Rodriguez. Following this, Carrington Labs determined it had various major mechanisms or benefits in the human body, including one we've already chatted about. It's essential for the structure and function of every cell in the human body. It supports and improves gut health and the macrophage activation to modulate or activate the immune system. It's interesting to know that each one of these separate mechanisms was directly linked to the molecular weight of the ACE man and molecule which is measured in Dalton's. I wanna just conclude with this quote one more time, the greatest discovery since penicillin. I believe it to be true. The greatest discovery since penicillin. That's, that's impressive and a bold statement, which is amazing because these products are amazing, right? Thank you so much, Robin. That was very informative and very exciting and encouraging in my opinion. Next up, we have the science with Christy. I love science and I want to be as good at sharing science as Christy is, but I am not. So thankfully we have Christy doing that for us. Back to our fun facts of the day. Uh, a little bit about Christy. She comes from a very successful career in oil and gas, which I think is super cool, but she's also currently obsessed with sourdough. I'm going to let you find out more about that with Christy one day, but right now we're going to hear about the science. 
So let's go ahead and share my screen for the science. Here we go. Hi. So I am a total science nerd and I love to geek out on data. I honestly can't tell you the last time I've read a fictional book, but if you send me a meta-analysis, a scientific study on pretty much anything or a clinical trial, I'm going to read it. So I'm super hyped tonight to teach you guys a little bit about the science behind ACE Manon. I'm gonna keep it pretty high level so you can hopefully follow along, but I think it's really important for us to just have a basic understanding of what ACE Manon is actually doing in our bodies. Okay. So how does ACE Manin work in the body? So we already know that ACE Manin is an extracted polysaccharide. It is arranged in a very unique structure and it's this unique structure that gives it its distinct biological effect. So ACE Manin is necessary to create glycoprotein structures. You're like, what's a glycoprotein structure and why should I care? Well, it's actually super important. So it's just a protein with an attached sugar but it's this glycoprotein that identifies the structure and function of cells. Cells have to be able to identify each other for a number of processes in our body, such as cell-to-cell -cell communication, the structural support of a cell, so think like collagen and connective tissue, clotting, hormone regulation, and arguably the most important, immune response. So let's talk a little bit about immune response. Glycoproteins on the surface of immune cells help them identify and respond to foreign invaders. How do they do this? Well, they use the cell-to-cell -cell communication that I just mentioned. So the immune cell touches the surface of cells and asks three questions. Are you me and are you okay? Are you me and are you damaged? If so, it orchestrates repair. Are you not me and do you not belong in the body? If so, it identifies that cell as a foreigner and orchestrates destruction. Our bodies are truly amazing. Scientists have discovered that the mannose in ACE Manon plays an incredibly important role in this cell-to-cell -cell communication. So they essentially realize that when the sugar is missing, it spells disaster. When the sugars are missing from the cell surface of glycoprotein structures, we see it manifest itself into autoimmune disorders, degenerative issues. And when the sugars are missing, the cells can't recognize that cell as self anymore. So the coding is incomplete and the messaging can't occur. So it's actually not a malfunctioning immune system that causes this phenomenon. The crazy part is, is it's a perfectly functioning immune system. It's just failing to recognize its own cells as healthy because the messaging is not complete. If I've already lost you, like come back to me, especially if you struggle with an autoimmune disorder, this next part is gonna be especially interesting. Okay, mannose. Mannose occurs in two things in nature at extremely high levels, aloe vera and human breast milk, who knew? So when a woman becomes pregnant, she has this amazing capability of converting high levels of glucose into mannose in her liver. That is then pumped through her bloodstream, through the umbilical cord into her developing child. Now, once the child is born, the mannose is transferred to the mammary glands and ends up in breast milk. So breast milk is full of mannose. This is why it's so essential for a properly functioning immune system. Science has noted, and this is where it gets interesting, so like come back, science has noted that select immune conditions will go into remission when a woman becomes pregnant. Did you catch that? Select immune conditions will go into remission when a woman becomes pregnant. Why? I hope you know the answer, but it's because of the incredibly high levels of mannose pumping through our bodies when we're pregnant. This literally happened to me. I was pregnant with my second child and I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's. I was like, cool, Hashimoto's, no big deal. I feel amazing. I delivered her and the symptoms came crashing on me like a freight train. So I can attest to the fact that this absolutely does happen. The last thing we're gonna to touch on when it comes to the science behind ACE Manin is macrophage activation. The glycoprotein structure of ACE Manin is essential 
for macrophage activation. I'm sure you're again like, okay, cool. Why should I care about this? Well, let's go back to high school science. Macrophages are large white blood cells made in the bone marrow. And these are responsible for regulating all immune modulating functions of our immune system. Activated macro cells, macrophages can engulf and destroy invading microorganisms. They can produce cytokines to recruit other immune cells, and they can help repair damaged tissue. Pretty important. So ACE Manin also has been shown to modulate the immune system response. So this is literally why we refer to it as an immune modulator, because it is one. It's not a booster, it's not an immune suppressant. It acts more like a thermostat, bringing our body into homeostasis and balancing it out and optimizing it so it can function not just properly, but optimally. All right, quick side note. Immune boosting is a marketing buzzword that has become super popular in the last few years. And if you have an immune boosting product in your pantry, I'm not shaming you, I'm not calling you out. But just know that hardly anything is one size fits all. Just because something is beneficial for boosting one person's immune system doesn't necessarily mean it's beneficial for someone else. If you're thinking, what is she talking about? Here's why at a super high level. There's actually two types of immune responses. You can either be Th1 dominant in your immune response, or you can be Th2 dominant in your immune response. And that's actually a whole different class. I'm not gonna go there tonight. Nicole has a stellar class that she's recorded on this already. So if you're watching live, we're gonna drop the link in the chat. And if you're catching this on replay, send us a DM and we'll get you the link to that class. It is definitely worth watching. Okay. So to summarize, ACE mannin, which is primarily mannose, is critical for cell-to-cell -cell communication and identification, which is then necessary for a properly functioning immune system. Okay, I hope you guys followed me at least a little bit and understand a little bit more why we are so hyped to get this amazing product into so many people's hands that need it. Woo! See, the science, it, it was it was a lot, but it was good, right? Good knowledge. I'm taking notes too, you guys, because this is exciting information. Thank you so much, Christy, for sharing. You did a great job. Next up, we have the bigger picture with Julianne. Do you like how I did the bigger picture? I just really want you to understand how big the picture is. It's, it's exciting news. It's, it's, it's exciting information. Uh, we got to finish with our fun facts. You know, Jillian's our last one, and we've got to have, we got to go out with a bang or a hurricane. Jillian was born during a hurricane. I mean, I often refer to my children as hurricanes, but that's a whole nother story. Also, a fun fact about Jillian is she's strangely good at video games, which I'm kind of jealous about because I've always wanted to be good at video games, and I am not good at video games. Fun fact, right? All right, so Julian has the bigger picture up for us, you guys, and then we're going to have some Q&A after that. Don't go anywhere yet. This is, you guys, you want to hear this. So let's let's get to Julianne's information here. I'm going to pull her video up for us and take it away, Julianne. Here we are. All right, let's talk bigger picture. So we have this incredible nutritional technology. We have hundreds of millions of dollars worth of research to back it up. So what are we doing with ACE Manin in the larger healthcare space? For big major issues, it shouldn't have to be one or the other. It shouldn't have to be only big pharma or only all natural remedies. There are doctors that are implementing, implementing this type of integrative support, using modern medicine with natural options for supporting our body's normal physiology. What we've recognized in science is the most powerful mechanism on earth for fighting cancer is the human body, the human immune system. And yes, we're talking about cancer today. I told you we were going to talk about big things. We know that we all have and fight cancer cells. It's just that something breaks down in the body's response for them to become clinical with a tumor or something like that. And so what immunotherapy is, is it's looking at how does the body identify cancer cells and destroy them so we can support and replicate that process when it's not functioning properly. So that's exactly what Dr. Renee Herty is doing. She is one of the leading immunologists at the Mayo Clinic, and she has gotten the first monoclonal antibody treatment approved by the FDA for the treatment of cancer. So story time. 
Um, I had the opportunity to hear this story directly from our founder and CEO, Sam Caster, when I was in Dallas um, a couple weeks ago, and it's definitely worth repeating now. So many years ago, Dr. Herty was attending a presentation on Ace Manon done by our founder and CEO, Sam Caster. And after the presentation, she said, I'm very interested in your Ace Manon because what would maximize our immunotherapy is if is if the rest of the immune system was functioning well. We need something that triggers that immune response that turns it on. And she had three requirements. It can't be toxic, it has to be natural, and it has to have good science behind it. So he told her about Ace Manin and all the research that had been done. And she said, this is exactly what I have been looking for. The biggest challenge with immunotherapy is that it is directly related in terms of its efficacy to the capability of the immune system of the patient to perform. And that's why they were looking for the best technology and that's what they found with Alavea. So Dr. Herty's ultimate goal was to define and validate that ACE Manon plays a role in normal physiology of the immune system's response to cancer. And with her monoclonal antibodies treatment, that the combination of the two will create a synergistic effect that will eliminate the need for things like chemotherapy. I mean, that is bigger than big. Like talk about bigger picture. So over the last few years, that's what she's been doing. And as you can imagine, it's a long process for validation. And a couple years ago, she came to Sam and said, I'm really excited about these two articles that I saw um, that were released by Stanford. She said, the first one is about macrophage detection of cancer cells, and we know that they are necessary to identify, but cancer cells can hide. So they make little proteins that prohibit macrophage detection, and they're actually really good at hiding. And if your immune system is already somewhat compromised, all of a sudden they can start growing and metastasizing and spreading, and your body never even knows it. So that's a big problem, even a, a big problem for an immunologist. But then she said, look at this second article from Stanford. It said, if you can find a cell surface activator for macrophages, we have seen that they can see past the blocking proteins that the cancer cells make and more effectively find the cancer cells. And that is exactly what ACE Manon is. It's a cell surface activator for macrophages. She said, I'm so excited about the quality of work I think that we are going to be able to provide. Big stuff. Okay, so why is she using Alavea's Ace Manin? So you can find Ace Manin in a freshly opened leaf of an aloe vera plant. It is from the inner leaf gel, but it is labile, meaning it becomes denatured. It's not effective within 24 hours. So right when you break it open, you're on the clock. And unless you have room for a large aloe vera plant farm <laughs> um, in your backyard, for practical daily use, we have to use the isolated and stabilized ace manin. Dr. Herty's work is only done with our ace manin because through Dr. Rodriguez, who, if you remember, is the chief science officer at Carrington, his most recent work and donation to aloe vera's Alavea's Hope Social Movement um, gives us the ability to have the purest, highest quality ACE Manin on the market. You cannot find this in any regular aloe vera plant product on your grocery store shelves because the ACE Manin that might have originally been in it is denatured in 24 hours. Without our uh, denatured in 24 hours without our proprietary processes. Um, Alavea Ace Manin extract is five times more potent than any other Ace Manin on the market, and it is the only one that is steam distilled, which means it is entirely non-toxic. Dr. Rodriguez determined a newer, even cleaner way of processing the Ace Manin to enhance its efficacy five times over the original patented technology, and he donated, he gave us the exclusive rights to that for our Hope social business model. So we talked about some big things that are happening in healthcare with ACE Manin, but our immune system functioning properly is the key to dealing with 
any condition, big or small. Um, Sam Castor said, when you optimize the immune system, there is not a condition out there that won't respond in a favorable way. And so his first passion is for getting Ace Manon into the hands of everyone. And we do that through our product line that is based on Ace Manon technology. So each of these products is helping you get your doses of Ace Manon, along with several other super high quality ingredients for different purposes that are layered on top of that Ace Manon. His passion does not stop there though. He not only wants everyone to have access to Ace Manon who can afford it or go buy it, but he wants it to be distributed to underprivileged and immunocompromised children around the world. So more about our mission and business model next. Whew. Bigger picture, right? I was I I was right, right? Thank you so much, Julianne. That was amazing. Uh, you guys, I, my mind is just expanding by the second, and I'm so excited about it. Uh, I just want to say to you guys that the Hope Movement is is exciting and powerful to me. The mission of the Hope Movement is actually what personally brought me into Alabea. Um, the fact that our founder and CEO Sam Castor has a goal to feed over, you know, millions of nourish, millions of kids a day just gets me so excited. I personally have partnered with other companies and I've made money and I've won trips and I've gotten the recognition. But for me, when I saw that Alavea's mission was to nourish others with their social business model 3.0, I just, I got fired up. It's buy one, nourish one. How exciting is that? Every time you take a product, a child gets nourished. I can't say no to that. I know we see all the time on Facebook and social media about a, a stray dog or a dog that needs rescuing or something like that. And everyone's heart just bleeds for that dog. I'm with you. I love animals. I'm not, I'm not dogging on animals. That was a pun there. Sorry. That was nasty. Uh, what I'm saying is our heart should bleed that way for kiddos too, right? If we were able to post on social media and share that there's an opportunity to nourish a child, you guys prevent deaths. Did you catch that? Did you catch that part about children are being actually saved with this product that just excites me so much because they're getting nourishment that they've never had before. So that that's what powered me up about being a part of Alavea is the mission field. And I really want to reiterate that to you guys. Buy one, nourish one. And that's exciting. Um, a little bit of story time about me. No fun facts here, but just truth and honesty. I have a disease called Ehlers-Danlos. It's a connective tissue disease, and it basically my body produces faulty collagen. As a result of pr producing faulty faulty collagen, my joints are always in pain, and I don't just mean a little arthritis in my hands. It affects every single joint in my body, as well as every soft tissue. So around my heart, um, it causes chronic migraines for me. It's it's considered a pain disease. It doesn't actually have a classification, and it's miserable. I'm also a very active person. I've enjoyed years of training, being a personal trainer. I like to push my body to the limit and see what I can actually achieve with it. But when I came down with the symptoms of this disease, it stopped my life. I mean, I, I lived in bed for nine months, pretty much more or less, just trying to recover and, and get back to myself. I've tried every drug out there. I've tried every hopeful solution. So when I saw that I fell in love with the Alave emission, and then I found out about the products, but I was skeptical. I'm sure you're skeptical. It sounds too good to be true. And I just said, you know what? I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm doing this. I'm not going to be public about this. I'm going to do it very quietly, but I'm going to get on more or less a therapeutic dose of immune. I'm going to get my body back to just functioning. I wasn't even looking to getting my body back to exercise state. I was just looking to get back to a place where I could stand up out of a chair without taking, you know, two to three minutes to fully straighten up to where I could walk from room to room without my feet having a ton of pain in them. And so I was five days on the immune when I started to notice a difference. I, I wasn't hundred percent. I just noticed that I could get up out of bed and actually go to the restroom without this like hobble limp limp of a very unhealthy 85 year old. That's what I looked like. Um, so within five days, I noticed that at about the two week mark, I started to notice that I was not taking pain medications. And um, I've been on a myriad of pain medications from the really heavy duty ones, because that's more or less what my doctors could do with me was just drug me. They didn't have a solution. 
And so that's the direction I was headed in and kind of got to a place where I, I didn't like being drugged out. I wanted to function. I'm a mom. I have three kiddos. I work and I enjoy my life. And so I had started taking ibuprofen and Tylenol on a regular basis in a very unhealthy way. But at that two week mark, I noticed I had gone three days without taking anything. And um, now it's few and far between that I have to take ibuprofen or Advil or anything or Tylenol, anything like that. It's very seldom. And it's usually because of something I've done to myself by overusing my body. So that's what's excited me about Alavea is the mission and the products. They, they really stand on their own and they don't need me or anybody that spoke tonight really to back them up. They, they do stand on their own. So I, I come to you tonight to tell you we're, we are going to have a question and answer time. And I encourage you to stick around for that. But I also encourage you to get with the person that invited you here tonight. I know we hear that all the time, this call to action, but I, I'm urging you to find out more about this, this mission. I'm urging you to find out more about these products. Just from my time in Alavea and hearing about how life-changing this can be for so many people, I just encourage you to pursue it, whether it's gut health, physical, all of the things, you guys, there's an answer for you. And so Reach out to who invited you, stay for Q&A, get your questions answered. I know Nicole is a wealth of knowledge. I mean, she just, and she doesn't quit until all the questions are answered. So stick around, get with whoever brought you. And guys, thank you so much for sticking with us tonight. I really appreciate having you here. Have a good one.